My name is Wungerita Marie Clarisse. I'm a Nyamhinga journalist. I'm here with a special guest. Uh, she's an entrepreneur and she has won a big, a big prize. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to introduce her. She's, uh, she's here with me and she's going to, to introduce herself. Okay, um, my name is Lilian Ubinhwadi and I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Mahui Limited. It's a software development firm in Africa mm. that is pioneering and steering ICT for agriculture in Rwanda. Mm. Thank you. Uh, what is Mahui in, 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 in full words? Uh, Mahui is just Mahui, you know. Um, first the M stands for mobile, and then Ahui, you know, in our culture when you're tired and you release uh, Ahui, you know. So that's what is kind of the concept because we thought um, these mobile phones are coming to relieve people and um, actually bring services on their fingertips. So, um, but when we, during our branding, when we're telling people who we are, um, our clients always think Mahui is the best because it's why they can relate to something that complements, integrates, and you know, completes each other. So Mahui is, is the name. Mm -hmm. What is actually the company? Is, is, is it about? It's a, is it an agriculture firm? It's a, what is it about? No, Mahui is a software development firm. So that means we develop ICD platforms, we develop softwares um, mob that are mobile and web-based. And of course, um, it serves in different sectors, um, in agriculture, in health, um, in energy, several sectors, wherever ICT can actually act as enabler to bring services close to its clients. So for this particular time, um, we have a a platform called AgroFiba that actually works. It's uh, in, in agribusiness, whereby we're bringing actually farmers, um, you know, take it to the farmer, like you're bringing all the services to the farmer, be it financial services, market information, um, extension services, right where they are, using what they have, that is the mobile phones they have, and also some of them who can actually use computers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just trying to make their life more easier and uh, more revenue generating. Yeah. How does it work? It's a, it's a setting you put in their mobile phones and, and they, it, it helps them in their agricultural activities. How does it work really? Okay, for the farmers, um, we actually have this uh, application hosted. Um, on, on the cloud. And so um, we connect also um, the phone to it because we're working with uh, telecom companies like MTN. So we have already requested a short code with your rights in the setting whereby a farmer will just dial a three number. We have a star 515 hash and then they get this services on their mobile phones so we use very easy technologies that will be easy for farmers to actually read so if the farmer wants maybe to know about extension services they'll press a particular number if they want to know about market information they press maybe two if they want to know about financial services banks that offer loans and grants you know at a very interest uh, a, a very low interest so they press three and the process goes on and on until the farmer actually gets the information they need that will also help them in their farming practices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I was reading a, a story about your company that it won a big prize, uh, ab about 40, 40 chances, if I got it well. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the, the, about the, the prize, and it, it's, it's a big amount. Uh, you will... Then tell us how will you use the the money for? Okay, um, forty chances is um, an initiative that was put forward by um, the World Food Prize Foundation, uh, Tony Blair's African Governance Initiative, which also operates here in Rwanda, as well as um, Howard G. Buffett Foundation. So um, they actually put their money together to support young entrepreneurs around Africa, Latin America, and some parts of Asia. So this time around, Rwanda was a beneficiary. You know, entrepreneurs in Rwanda who are in agribusiness were beneficiary to this fund. And so I happened to put in our application because we thought actually this is the money that um, could thrive by innovation forward so that Rwandans start using it and find it more 
more profitable. So we put forward a proposal and by chance it was the platform that walked away with a prize and we're very excited about it. So this money is meant to actually put our infrastructures in place. Sorry to interrupt you, how much is it? Um, it's uh, 150,000 US dollars. So what we're going to do with this money, this is not money to just for luxury, but this is business money that should be invested in the project. So we're trying to actually um, put our infrastructures in place so that these apps can be up and running so that farmers can start accessing them because um, we've talked to farmers, but of course, you know, most farmers in Rwanda don't have the gadgets that they need to actually access these services. So there'll be a lot of training, there'll be a lot of procurement for these gadgets so that farmers start using these applications. So these will help um, actually improve their lives and also um, in turn they'll contribute to food security in the country. So I can say we're fighting hunger. Uh, maybe if, if if we've already planned, when do you plan to start the the, the activities? Okay, um, I can say this started way back in um, September 2012. So we've been working on this, you know, developing the apps, uh, marketing this thing, and going to see to identify the needs of the farmers, what they are more comfortable with so that we actually develop a solution that is tailor-made to their needs. So we started way back. It's just that we were very much um, hindered by the finance issue because it's a very ambitious project that requires a lot of money. And we thank God that this money came in. So um, we're just going to continue with some of the activities that were limited due to finance issues. So we hope to actually, the next season of farmers will be in uh, February next year. So we want to have them start to use that application by that time. So we're seeing all the trainings and all the gadgets having been procured by Feb next year so that this application be can be accessible for every farmer in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I see like it's, um, you're, you're still young and you've, uh, you've got such a big company and look, it's, uh, it's, it's now bringing you to, to the next level because of that price. So what are the challenges are you facing in, the, in, 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 in this process? Um, challenges? Okay, um, it's hard to think of challenges right now because challenges is what we've been facing before. But of course, we believe that every big opportunity comes with a challenge attached to it. So um, the only challenge is to see this work and... Um, being sustainable in Rwanda and um, contribute to the um, add value to farming practices. And we're not freaking out, but we're ready for the challenge and you'll stand up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so give some advices to young girls who are willing to become entrepreneurs like you. What I'm saying is uh, just believe in yourself, believe in your ideas, you know, seek for advisors and try to find mentors that can actually um, empower you and uh, equip you with what you need to actually achieve your dream. Because where I am, I'm not here because it's just about me. It's about several people behind my back who are pushing me forward. I have several mentors, I have several advisors who actually um, I share ideas with and they say, Lillian, why not this? This can work, you know, this, how about, you know? So in the process, they shape you, they equip you, and at the end, you find yourself making it. So um, I, I encourage those young people, as long as you have something burning in there, don't, don't, um, don't uh, maybe lose confidence or feel that maybe it won't work, but try and talk to a few people who will encourage you and support you in what you're doing, and you'll make it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry if if I didn't ask, how old are you? I'm 26 years old. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, that's to inspire young girls who think maybe you, can, you can't achieve something at your age. So uh, please tell us about um, uh, your plans in five years to come with your company. Uh, uh, and do you work al alone or you're, it's a group of No, people? I'm here representing uh, a team that I'm very proud of and that I'm passionate about the Maui team. We are three girls and one guy and um, we've been working on this together and so I'm very proud of them um, because they're making our company proud, they're making the country proud and um, 
Yeah, so I work with three people and of course we have employees that we employ. We normally work with youth most of the time. So because you're trying to also provide youth employment and see, encourage even more youth into the agriculture sector through ICTs. Um, so the plan that we have in five years to come, um, we're looking at going Africa, you know, being uh, the largest data center in Africa for agriculture. So that's, that's how we envision uh, our world in the next five years. Do you plan maybe competing for other awards or you're, you're just <laughs> satisfied, <laughs> satisfied? An entrepreneur is never, never satisfied because once you're satisfied with what you have, that's a downfall for an entrepreneur. You keep aiming higher and higher. So all opportunities that are out there for grabs, I'm ready for them, <laughs> you know, because they make things work. So um, I can say um, I, have a, I keep an open mind. And wherever I see that uh, maybe a project can actually benefit from, why not go for it? Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you so much, Lillian. Thank you, too.